Hello everyone, this is Red from Red's Third Dimension Gaming. Yes, I shaved my beard, um, along with other things. I got a new t-shirt. This is Breaking Benjamin. It's like a limited edition t-shirt. That's what they say, supposedly. But I thought it was really cool. Now, like, when I go to places, sometimes they think I'm a little crazy. Just because of a t-shirt. Even though I'm, like, happy. I went to a job interview in a different shirt. They were happy. So, I don't know. Maybe it's the shirt, is what I'm guessing. I'm gonna unbox the... Asus Q503U, and with it at Best Buy, you get a free, um, this is what you get for free, you get some antivirus software for free, so this is a $50 value, I already got Norton, so I don't really need this, but this is nice, it's like a for a whole year, you get this software, um, you get $15 off of Pogo Plug Cloud storage data so I got the six month version this is free if you get the 12 month version it's fifteen dollars basically which I haven't used this yet I have still have this from my Apple I got I got one of these too so uh, maybe I'll just start using it it says no storage limits no restrictions that that might actually be nice to have since uh, my computers keep uh, screwing up and the reason why I got this was because of the fact as you all know, my Origin PC, that's going back out for repair. The CyberPower PC, which I'll have a review up after I get this unboxed, um, I'm going to have my one-year review on it, and I still haven't gotten it fixed. It's even in worse shape than what it was before. And I'll go into the story about that after this is unboxed. And I know you want me to stop talking. So, this was $6.99, um, and if you're a student, um, all you need is a student email, and you get a hundred dollars off uh, certain computers so this is the box which is I think the box looks nice it's, it's a lovely box um, so yeah you get six ninety nine off you get a hundred dollars off at thirty dollars in reward zone points so that took the tax off and I had a hundred dollar rebate um, prepaid card <clears throat> and excuse me I'm sick um, at a hundred, at a two hundred dollar rebate card, so it took it down to like three ninety nine plus tax, and then that thirty dollars paid for the tax essentially. So I paid about four hundred dollars for it. Now this has the new six gen uh, i five in it. Uh, I think it's a sixty five hundred U or sixty two hundred U. I have to look it up again. I'll have everything in the description. And let me see. Yeah, this is pretty nice. This is, uh, I think, a, I think this is the aluminum black version. I can't remember what I had. Cause it's black either way. It comes with like a little nice thing to clean your screen. Um, and instructions. It is a touch screen. It's a two-in-one. Has some instructions, and it has even an apparently the start button is on the side of the computer. As I said. Um, let's see if it comes with anything else. Comes with a power cable. Nice. I was hoping they would have that. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Love it. Thank goodness I washed my hands. Yeah, this is beautiful. I love the look of these things. Let me show you. I love the look. It has a nice, clean look to it. I love the ASUS. Uh, usually they have pretty nice looking things. I There was an HP uh, Star Wars, which wasn't that bad looking, but I hated HP after what happened to me, and I don't know why it just, it kind of like zoomed, it kind of went all blurry there for a second. Um, mine lasted less than three months, and then I had problems. I sent it back, got it repaired, or got a new one or something from HP. They're really good with customer service, but their systems don't tend to last long for laptops. I have tons of friends that have problems. But maybe they're better now because they're on the total score. They got a really good score. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, let me show you this. This thing came out. Check the screen. This is a huge screen. It's about, a, I think it's a 15.4 inch screen. There is another version of this. I don't know why it's focusing on me again. There's another version of this that has a 6 gigabyte. It's only a 13 inch screen though. This is a 15 inch and it has 8 gigabytes of RAM. So that other one is smaller and it has that. So this is pretty nice. The keyboard looks nice. If you guys want me to review this, I will. 
And it might, I might just take it back right away if I don't like it. See, this is what this does. It flips over, and then you can touch screen and do stuff like that. That's what the two-in-ones are. So I think Sony's the one that started that, and then they kind of went, um, they sold their business, their, their Vio business, and then it went to crap. But this is very nice. Uh, I like it, how it looks. Really hope it works for rendering videos. I know i5 is not the fastest, but the new i7s aren't that fast. The ones that I was comparing to the about 200 to $300 more. If you really want a good, really, really good one, you want to pay about 1000 for like an MSI or uh, Asus Rogue, one of uh, ROG. One of those type of laptops, they're the ones that you want for the i7s. Like, they have the good i7s in them. And they're the expensive ones. I only need this until I get my Origin PC back or anytime one of my computers breaks. That's why I have it. If you want to do, uh, like, internet browsing and a lot of schoolwork, this thing will probably work for okay, you. Okay, guys, let's see what it looks like. Ugh. I just started it up. Oh, let me turn off the light. It'll help. Turn off the light. It'll help a lot. Okay. You don't. It is kind of glossy. So, woo! The Asus Experience, and it does look better than what the camera's showing. The camera's making it look. Like, uh, you can see me in the camera's light. Right here, we're starting it up. Okay. And actually, when I was looking at benchmarks, I would actually did a lot of research beforehand. The i5, the new 6th gen i5, the 6500U, is actually not that slow of a processor compared to the, some of the i7s. And the new i7 is actually not that great. Um, that's why I, I, it was like barely much of a difference. It's actually, the older ones looked faster on the benchmarks than the new ones, so... That's why I just stuck with this. It's going to cost a lot more to get one of those other ones, too. So, yeah. This is just temporary. Until I can get my origin back. So, I'm showing you how long it takes here just to set up the thing. Um, hoping it's uh, faster, a little faster than this. Uh, my Apple... My my Apple Air, that thing takes literally seconds. It it's that fast. Let me hook up this uh, thing here if I can find a USB. And it's also pre-installed with Windows 10. Hey guys, this is Red, and this is the beginning of a rendering. Yes, my voice is getting worse actually. Um. This is the beginning of a rendering on the Asus uh, laptop, and it's at 44 minutes of what is what it says. I will record the end of like when it's finished. It'll probably take like 50 minutes to an hour, but that's not too bad. Um, this is a 60 frames per second uncharted HD remastered or whatever you want to call it remastered uh, video that I rendered and. This is chapter 11 of that, and it's about 14 minutes long almost. It's a little over 13. It's like 13 and a half to 14 minutes long, which isn't too bad um, for a 1080p. This is at 10 megabytes per second. That's what I just render it, whatever I recorded it at. So right now it actually is about 50 minutes. And as you can see, there's already five minutes before. Um, time left 43 minutes, so it's about 50 minutes, and it'll probably go up to an hour because it always usually increases a little bit. But that's not too bad for an i5. I'm liking the processor uh, power of this laptop so far. It's not too bad. I had a Sony Vio the last time I had a laptop, and it was slow as can be. Like it said for a 720p video. 720p, not 1080p, it would take like 10 hours or something, or even longer. This thing, and then when I check the, um, when I do control delete to check the system, how fast it's going, it's actually going pretty good. It's not going slow. Um, the Sony one couldn't even go fast, and it's like, um, this is, should be taking up a lot of your 
computing power and you should be able to go faster to render this stuff. But no, it didn't. And yeah, I took that one back. I'm glad I did because that one was a piece of crap. This one's not bad. If you want a decent gaming laptop, this one will probably be the one to go with. Um, it's not that, it's a pretty affordable for, I think, 600 bucks. So guys, it ended up being 59 minutes and 22 seconds. I told you it would go up a little bit, but the video is done rendering. But that is a 60 frames per second video. It usually takes twice as long, so it'll probably be about a 30 minutes for a 13 to 14 uh, minute video. So it's probably about, for a 15 minute video, it's a little over 30 minutes probably to render. And that's for 30 frames per second. Um, this is 60 frames per second. So 60 frames per second always takes like twice as long every time I try to render it. No matter if it's i7, i5, anything like that. But this is pretty good. This is a really fast computer. I really recommend it. If you would like to buy the computer, you can look in the description below. And I will have a link to it to get to Best Buy. And I'll have a link on Am to get to Amazon if you want to buy it through there. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Have a good day.